Bridges have always made some people nervous. Jeffyrophobia sufferers often go miles out of their way to avoid bridges and try not to cross them at all. Those who are afraid of heights can also have a hard time on a lot of bridges. But when it comes to some bridges, fear seems to be the only sensible thing to do. Here are 10 bridges that would make your legs feel like jelly. Number 10 Royal Gorge Bridge, Colorado The Royal Gorge Bridge was the highest bridge in the world until 2001. It was built for only $350,000 in 1929. The bridge goes over Colorado's beautiful Royal Gorge, which is 384 meters long. The Arkansas River roars by 291 meters below, sometimes carrying whitewater rafters fighting against the elements. Building the bridge only took six months. Each of the two main cables weighs 200 tons and is made up of 2,100 separate cables that are all twisted together. The bridge's deck was made of 1,292 pieces of wood that were bolted to the base. Since the bridge doesn't have a vertical truss, it tends to move when people walk on it. This can be scary when you're crossing a gorge with a raging river 300 meters below you. If you don't want to take the bridge, you could always try the aerial gondolas, which will get you to the other side without making you nervous. Number 9 Tightly's Cliff Walk Switzerland Before you can cross the Tightly's Cliff Walk, you have to climb Mount Tightly's, where the bridge will be waiting for you. Then, you'll walk through an underground tunnel to get to the Glacier Cave. The Tightly's Cliff Walk is about 3,000 meters above sea level. It is 100 meters long but only 1 meter wide. It goes from one rock face in the Swiss Alps to another. The bridge goes over a hole that is about 500 meters deep. If you walk in a straight line, it's 150 steps to the other side, over a deep hole. Once you get to the other side, you can take the ice flyer chairlift to the top of the other side of the glacier. We can't help but wonder why no one ever thought to just climb up on the other side. Number 8 Marienbruck, Germany Queen Mary's Bridge or Marienbruck, is in Bavaria. It is on the grounds of Neuschwanstein Castle. The castle is everything you'd expect from a castle. It looks like a princess and a couple of dragons should live there because it is perched on top of a cliff. Both the bridge and the castle are beautiful. It goes over the Palat River by 90 meters and gives great views of the castle. The bridge was built only so that people could look at the view. Maximilian II had lookout points built around the area so people could see the castle. In the 1840s, he had the bridge built as a birthday present for his wife, Marie, who liked mountain climbing and was good with heights because of that. Number 7 Puente de Anjuela, Mexico Even the road up to Puente de Anjuela is hard to get to, but the bridge itself is scary. The bridge is about 300 meters long and hangs over a ravine by about 100 meters. The bridge is only 0.6 meters wide. Pack animals used to cross Puente de Anjuela which is a good thing, but now only people walk across it. When it was first built in 1898, the bridge was used to move gold and silver from nearby mines and bring in supplies. The bridge wobbles when you walk on it, and even though it has handrails, the spaces between the planks are big. If you are brave enough to look down, you can see a good view of the canyon below. On the bridge, traffic goes in both directions, so you may get bumped as you walk. If you are brave enough to cross the bridge, you can go to the Ghost Town Museum in one of the abandoned mines. Hmm, maybe not. Number 6 The Hanging Bridge of Gaza Nepal Maybe it should be called the Swinging Bridge of Gaza instead of the Hanging Bridge of Gaza, due to its height and the fact that the area is prone to high winds. The bridge wobbles as people, tourists, and cattle cross it. Even though the bridge looks kind of weak, it's said to be very strong. It is still used to move cattle. But sometimes the animals have their eyes covered so they don't get scared as they cross the bridge. And it's easy to see why. If only you could do the same thing to people. People say that the bridge was built to make other bridges less crowded. Locals use it every day to drive their animals across. Which makes the idea of traffic jams interesting. Number 5 Iyakazurabashi Japan Iyakazurabashi is a bridge in Japan's Ia Valley that has one of the more unusual looks. It is near mountains and hot springs. The Vine Bridge is 45 meters long and only 14 meters above the Iagawa River. But what it lacks in scariness it makes up for in weirdness. It is made from a plant called hardy kiwi, which is pretty strong but not really good for building bridges because it doesn't last long and tends to rot. Not a good thing for a bridge to have.
but it is said that the hardy kiwi was used on purpose so that the bridge could be cut down quickly in case of invaders. This would have stopped the army from crossing the gorge. Every three years, the bridge is rebuilt, and on either side of the gorge, the vines are tied to tall cedar trees, in this day and age of health and safety. The vines also have steel ropes hidden inside of them, but the wide spaces between the bridge's steps, which give a vertical view of the river below, and the bridge's wild swinging are still enough to scare most visitors to death. Number 4 QS Wachaka Bridge, Peru the QS Huachaca Bridge is the best example of an Inca suspension bridge that still stands. It is on the Great Inca Road through the Andes. The bridges were very important for connecting and securing the Inca Empire. And for hundreds of years after that, they were used as normal parts of the road system. Again, when there was a war, the bridges were torn down to keep people safe from invaders. When the Spanish came to take over, they burned down a lot of the bridges. Inca bridges are made by braiding natural fibers to make the floor, handrails, and vertical supports between the base and the handrails. On each side of the bridge, the cables are held in place by stone pillars. It's true that crossing the bridge isn't very smooth, but the loose way it's built lets walkers get a good look at the river below. Each year, people in the area replace the bridge by cutting grass and weaving it into cables. The people on each side of the bridge then pull the ropes across together. The old bridge isn't taken down until the new one is built next to it. Each community starts working on its end of the bridge and meets in the middle. The whole bridge can be rebuilt in three days. After that, everyone in the area should get together for a party. Which seems like the right thing to do. Number 3 Kwandinsky Bridge, Russia Siberia's Kwandinsky Bridge is 570 meters long and goes over the Vidim River. This bridge used to be for trains but it is now used by cars without official permission. The word bridge is used in many different ways. It is just over 2 meters wide and there are no guardrails or other safety features to keep cars from falling into the frozen water below. It has rusted, and the harsh weather has caused the wooden sleepers to rot. The railway company that built the bridge never used it, and no one else will take care of it. People in the area, whose minds may have been foggy from the constant cold, started to cut across the river on the bridge. Heavy cars often break the sleepers, and holes are filled with whatever scraps of wood or planks can be found lying around. This means that you have to get out of the car and fix the bridge on the way. And to make things even more fun, the wood is very slippery when wet, which is always. There seems to be a lot to be said for taking the long way. Number 2 Hongyagu Bridge, China Sometimes it seems like the people who design bridges are sick and cruel. Take, for example, the people who made the Hongyagu Bridge in Hebei, which opened at the end of 2017. They built a bridge that is 488 meters long and goes over a drop of 220 meters, which is enough to make most people nervous. But the designers decided to add a glass floor so that people could see the valley below them and trick their minds into thinking that nothing is holding them up. And if that wasn't enough, they added more sway to the bridge. The glass panels are 4 centimeters thick which doesn't seem like much when you think about how close you are to dying. The bridge can hold up to 2,000 people at once, but only 600 people are allowed to walk on it. This is just in case something goes wrong. People must wear shoe gloves to keep the glass from getting scratched or broken. Glass bridges seem to be prone to this. The people in charge of the bridge have put staff members at different points along the bridge to help people who feel dizzy. It could still be worse. The people who made the glass suspension bridge added sound effects to it. Every time you take a step on the glass bridge, it sounds like the glass is breaking. Nope. Number 1 Husseini Hanging Bridge, Pakistan Pakistan's Husseini Hanging Bridge isn't really a bridge at all. The weather destroyed the first bridge, which was even scarier. The new bridge is better than the old one. Rope and planks are used to make the bridge. A constant icy wind keeps blowing, making the bridge violently sway. From what people in the area say, at least 10 people have died while crossing the bridge. If you fell, you'd go straight into the river below. There are a lot of tourists at the bridge. They often take two steps onto it, take a picture, and then quickly jump back. But it's not so easy for the people who live there. They still use the crossing often, and some of them walk across with big packs on their backs. Thanks for watching this video. We are going to create more video like this and please do not forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel and stay tuned. We will be back with more videos.